Hey guys, it's Kathleen. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? So, in today's video, we're going to be trying out a new bronzer because I've been using the same bronzer for like five years. Not the same exact container of bronzer, but like the same brand. So we're going to try something new today. So I'm going to be trying the BH Brilliance Bronzer. We're going to see how that goes. So, yeah. Before we get started, subscribe. Thank you. So the claims of this bronzer. Achieve a radiant, sun-kissed glow with our Brilliance Bronzer. The silky, blendable formula offers lightweight, buildable coverage with a satin finish and sweeps smoothly onto cheeks, chin, forehead, and decolletage for a natural lit from within glow. So it comes in this unicarton. I like the rose gold. Pretty cool. Oh god, it's so hard to open. It's not even any tape on it. Oh my god. Oh, that's it, I'm tearing it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's got the rose gold and the BH in the middle. It looks pretty cool. And it's a nice mirror. You can see yourself. Hello. You can see me. Hi. Yeah. I got the shade Golden Gal because I'm really pale and I need a paler bronzer. So I got the lightest shade they have. In comparison to my Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer, yeah. side by side, it's definitely more neutral toned, which is awesome because I find that this one's a little bit too warm on me. So that's cool. It has... 0.35 ounces in comparison to this one that has 0.46. So I have a big fluffy brush from e.l.f. I think this is just like their powder brush. It works really well for bronzer. I like it. It's nice and fluffy and I like fluffy brushes to do my bronzer. So we're gonna just... Okay, so I just dipped in just a tiny bit and I got quite a bit on my brush. So... Tap some of that off. This girl doesn't need an insane amount of bronzer, so I'm just gonna... What I do when I get too much bronzer on a brush is I just kind of tap it around my face and then I go in so I don't get too much bronzer in one spot. So applying it, it's really nice and smooth. Blends on easy and of course I always like over blend my bronzer just because that's what I do. what happens. I think I really like this bronzer. It's a little early to tell, but like, I think I like it. And then what I always do is, after I blend in my bronzer, I just take my brush and just kind of hit the sides of my nose a little bit. Because I found that I don't like a harsh nose contour for me. I just like a little bit of bronzer on the side to just give it a little bit of dimension. So, I like this. And it went on really nice. It's not matte, but it's not glowy, which I hate glowy bronzers for me. I don't know why, like, um, like I had this Lorac Tantalizer bronzer and it's really shimmery. So I used it as an eyeshadow because I'm not gonna use this on my face because it's way too shiny. So I mostly stick to like matte bronzers. But this one's like a nice satin finish, which is good. Because I hate when it's too glowy or too matte. So so here is what the bronzer looks like on. I don't know if in my viewfinder it looks like I'm really blown out and white. And you can't see anything. But in editing I know you're going to be able to see it. I really like it. It gives like a nice natural kind of sun-kissed glow to you. It's pretty good. Alright. Well. I'm going to... Put some blush on and highlighter. And yeah. I'll see you in a minute. I feel like when I don't have mascara on, I look really weird. Okay, so I did spray my face with my Milani Make It Matte setting spray. Because I like this stuff a lot. And nothing happened to the bronzer. I mean, it didn't do anything weird. It just chilled. Did its own thing stayed still and was like okay this is how this is so, so I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys in a couple hours 
Ow, my elbow. Okay, so I'm back. It's been probably about six hours. Still looks good. It is a little bit more warm toned, like orangey-ish on the face once you put it on than it looks like in the pan. Well, no, it looks the same. I guess I'm just not that much of a fan of orangish bronzer, but I still like this. It's not like insanely orange. It's more like just tanned. And that's what bronzer's for. Obviously. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this bronzer if you guys like, you know, more of a sun kiss kind of glow. Not really a glow, but just like, just you look sun kissed. It doesn't make you glow, it's matte but like satin matte, so it's like a good kind of matte. I'm rambling. Hmm. This is definitely going in my drawer so I can actually use a different bronzer than the same one I've been using for so long. So yeah, I definitely recommend this product. Go get it, try it, you might like it. So yeah, cool. Okay guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more content from me, I post every Monday and every other Thursday, and leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see in the next video. I greatly appreciate it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!